Now, over the last few years, Wigton in Dumfries and Galloway has built up a justifiable reputation as one of Scotland's literary centres. Wigton, Booktown, no less. Bookshops heaving with volumes for every age and interest line the streets, a mecca for book lovers from all over the world. Well, this weekend, the town is hosting its Spring Festival, a literary jamboree with the twin themes of politics and nature, and the likes of James Nochte, Alistair Reid and Zoe Strachan taking part. It sounds lovely, just the thing for the Maybank holiday. But what's this we hear? News has reached us of an extraordinary event due to take place in Wigton on Sunday to mark the Beltane Festival. Sean Bithell, who owns a shop called Wait For It, the bookshop in Wigton, the biggest second-hand bookshop in Scotland, has organised the Wigton Book Burning. It's set for five o'clock on Sunday in the Martyr's Stake Field. Well, earlier I rang Sean and suggested that this event sounded sinister, if not sinful, and I demanded to know what the heck was going on. It sounds a lot worse than it is, I think. What we're doing, basically, is getting rid of obsolete stock. Normally when people bring books into the shop, there's a percentage of them that we don't want. So we only pay for what we want, and the books that we reject either go to the charity shop or they're in such poor condition that, that even the charity shop wouldn't take them. Mm. So normally what happens to those books is that they go into a skip. So twice a year we fill a skip, which goes off to a landfill site, and there the books are rotted away and produce methane. So rather than dispose of them in the usual way, we thought we'd try and highlight the issue of what happens to books that have reached the end of their lives mm. by uh, creating a sculpture, a uh, fire sculpture to celebrate the Beltane Fire Festival, which is made by two local artists using uh, our obsolete stock, the, the stuff that normally would go into the skip. So uh, that's the reason we're doing it. That all makes sense to me now, Sean. Uh, for folk who, who can't get along on Sunday to see this spectacle, is, it, is the sculpture already made? Is it taking shape? Is it completed? Um, basically, it's a sort of tower-like structure, mm. uh, and the, the basic framework is in place, but we're not putting the books in up until Sunday, obviously, in case it rains. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'd probably catch fire. <laughs> now, I'm afraid it's only going to be in existence for about an hour, mm. uh, and then it's going to go up in smoke. The way we're viewing it is, instead of just sort of burning books, we're taking the view that we're giving them a slightly more dignified send-off than they would <laughs> otherwise get if they just went into a landfill site. Indeed. Um, I was kind of joking with you about this sounding almost sinful, but people get terribly uptight. I mean, it makes me uptight to think of, of books going uh, up in flames, although you've explained why you're doing that and it makes perfect sense. But have you had an adverse reaction from various folk? Oh, yeah. It's completely polarised people. I mean, it, people either love the idea or absolutely hate it. And I think I think the, the reaction gut reaction, the knee-jerk reaction, that it's a bad thing to mm. do, is purely that. It's a, a knee-jerk reaction and it's based on books being burnt for their contents, for what they're saying, and people trying to suppress that information. Now that's absolutely the opposite of what we're doing. Mm. We're, what we're burning is, the contents are completely immaterial. We're burning everything. What's crucially important is the condition. You know, these are books that have really got absolutely no chance of ever selling again and yeah. have no financial worth. But it is fascinating, Sean, because you're really highlighting it, even to me. I suppose I just think, well, a book's a book, and it will continue forever. It'll be passed from charity shop to charity shop and so on. But you're saying there is a finite life. People don't want an old dog-eared uh, book. And uh, better that, it, that it's burnt in some kind of spectacle than in a, a landfill site. But are you also hoping that people will come up with other ideas for what to do with unwanted books? That, that's really, you know, the other reason we're doing it is, is to highlight the issue of this problem, and particularly living in a book town. Um, you know, Wigtown generates, well, certainly we, in this shop alone, probably chuck out 5,000 books a year. And if we can find some better way of dealing with it than throwing them into a landfill, then that's the outcome of this project will be. Bookshop owner Sean Bithell there. So if you have any inspired ideas about what to do with the thousands, maybe be over recycle.co.uk or give us a ring on 0131 248 4065. Meanwhile, if you would like to witness the spectacle, get yourself down to the Martyrs Stake Field in Wigton at 5pm this Sunday. Wigton Spring Festival events are on all weekend with a particular focus on the relationship between politics and nature. Highlights include broadcast of James Nochte talking about his book, The Accidental American. That's at the County Buildings tomorrow at 2. And the full programme of events is online at wwwwigton booktownco 92 to 93.